And we're here inside the post-game show on aupanthers.tv. Tom Verde here joined alongside by head coach Heather Jacobs of the Adelphi women's basketball team. Panthers drop a tough one here, 85-81 to the uh, second-best team in the Southwest Division, New Haven. And, Coach, I guess this was probably as good a, a test as you could have asked for for your team right before postseason play begins. Yes, I would agree. And so a tough one for your team, 85-81. The second half is where things seem to unravel a little bit for your team. Jeff just the game. Shade Jackson had some foul trouble. And from there, what did you see out of your half-court sets? It seemed it wasn't flowing as well as the first half. Yes, it, uh, when you score 34 points, I would say it wasn't flowing as well as we would have hoped. Uh, you know, we, we didn't take the best shots available. We didn't really find the best shots available and kind of settled for some things. Sometimes we get lucky in that sense. And we relied on doing things that were our second best option. I mean, that's not going to win you games in the Northeast 10. Your team was very good with the ball in the first half, uh, possession wise. A little bit more turnovers in the second half, and it seemed like off of those turnovers, New Haven was able to create some transition buckets against your team. Yeah, I mean, we turned the ball over 15 times, and they capitalized on those opportunities, and they played with a lot of momentum, and they did a good job. So I give credit to them and their coaching staff. Now, uh, a lot of fouls called in that second half, really, after the first half, kind of let the players play a little bit more. Um, your team, what did you think of the free throw shooting for your team? Were you happy with it? Uh, we, we shot 14 for 14 in the first half. I yeah. mean, that's just like, it can't get better than that. And then uh, to finish 21-27, that's, uh, that's all right. I think, you know, the, the category that I not particularly pleased with is we took 23 threes and they took eight. So, I mean, shoot, we do shoot the ball well, but in a game when there's a lot of fouls being called, we need to be more disciplined at getting to the rim because we have players that are capable of that. Tell me about the battle on the glass as well. Uh, 17 offensive rebounds for New Haven. How were they able to be effective on your team on the glass and down low? You know, I think there were... We, we know we have to box out every possession, especially yeah. against a team like New Haven, and we do a good job, but there were times that every opportunity that we weren't in the right spot or we dropped in the help and the helper didn't rotate, they capitalize on every opportunity that they have and give credit to them when... It was every opportunity they may count for them, and that's what got them in this situation. Now, for you, Coach, of course, this game doesn't affect your seating, so you will uh, not play Thursday. You have a chance to take a little bit of a break, get some rest, and then Sunday you'll have the winner of Southern Connecticut State against Franklin Pierce. So tell me about that one coming up. Uh, you know, how excited are you for this postseason coming up? You know, I, I think I, I'm definitely excited. The girls are excited, and today wasn't exactly the best you know, it wasn't what we hoped for, but at the end of the day, we have a lot of basketball to play, and we have weapons all over, and you know, a senior-led team, and so it's definitely going to be exciting coming up. And you mentioned a senior-led team. Just real quick, tell me about this senior class here on senior night. Obviously, emotional pregame before uh, everything got started here, but a lot of excellent players, some of them maybe the best in program history right now in this senior class. Yes, I mean, obviously, I'm biased in my time here, <laughs> and yeah, for sure. I mean, don't be fooled either by Melanie O'Brien and Iffy. They just they don't they might not put in as many minutes, but their credit and their, what they've done for the program are just, just as remarkable. All right, Heather Jacobs, thanks so much for joining us here inside the post game show, and uh, good luck. We'll see you on Sunday. And that'll do it for us here from my color man Kevin Dexter, Heather Jacobs. I'm Tom Birdie. That'll be it. Stay tuned for the men's game after this on AUPanthers.tv.